Haley's like the 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 sit back lazy hippo that doesn't like touch and stuff. Oh, I'm genuinely just so speechless right now. So today we have Haley and Matthew, right? They're 16 years old and they're both pregnant. Well, like not like they're not like both pregnant, but like like Haley's pregnant because like Matthew got her pregnant. But I'm really excited to watch this video because I don't know. I just get a really good vibe off of these two. I get a good vibe because I know that they're so stupid that I'm going to get the best content out of them. So that's why I'm really confident that this video is going to be good. And I didn't even watch it ahead of time. So you got to say it. It's weird. It's okay. weird for me saying it. My name's Haley. My name is Matthew and we're pregnant. Okay, all I'm gonna say is this kid, he needs to stay in school because he really just doesn't seem like the most intelligent person. This Matthew kid really reminds me of someone and I just can't put my finger on it. I get it, it's an awkward situation to have to explain that you're 16 years old and you gotta go pregnant, especially when you're in front of God only knows how many producers and cameras. So I understand and I feel for this kid, but at the same time, he just doesn't seem like the brightest bulb. But that's just my opinion, so let's continue watching. When I met Haley, I was talking to one of her best friends. Haley is surprised. She's like, you were, you were talking to one of my friends? Which one? She just looked like a preppy white girl that was really <laughs> innocent, and I was like, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Nah. Hear me out. She does have really pretty eyes, though, so I'll give her that. Why'd I have to be white? She was mean, though, because you're white. What do you mean, why do you have to be white? Even if you don't see color and you only see black and white, literally black and white, you would still be white. Not even gray. You'd be white. God, I hope that isn't racist. I told her best friend that I was talking to. They greased him so badly. Oh, my God. Not gonna lie, I... Didn't think Matthew looked good to begin with, but this picture right here, they really did grease him, and I am so sorry. And they also greased him saying you only got 65 likes. Golly. I asked her for Haley's number. And, and then I went off on him, because, like, that was my best friend. And then the next day, we started dating. <laughs> Okay, so let me just try to get the timeline straight. Matthew was talking so to Haley's Matthew best friend. Haley went off and number. And then they dated, they started dating the day after. Oh, makes sense, yeah. I've had other crushes, but I wouldn't kiss nobody. I was just kind of weird. And when I met him, it took me a while to kiss him. Because <laughs> I was really innocent. I feel like when people are like, I was really innocent. Like, I'm really innocent. Like, they're just not. Like, there's, that's just... I don't believe it. And then we got Matthew here having like a little bit of a seizure or something. Like, I don't know what he's doing, but he needs like medical assistance. It took her the longest to make out with me, but we had sex before that. Yeah. I'm sorry. What do you how? Mean? Just let me know how. I just want to know. Like, like, I don't want to know the details or anything, but I just want to know how. Sometimes it's it's like baseball right you get to first base second base third base sometimes you even hit a home run right i'm just confused how this man managed to somehow s start at home plate you know he's up at bat and he just he didn't get to first or second or or third base he he just got back home without touching any of the bases i'm just confused i'm i don't I'm speechless. I actually, I'm just, I'm speechless. I'm sorry. What do you mean? You had sex with her before you kissed her? <laughs> he knows. He was like, yeah. I, I'm so confused. Like, I don't understand. I told Matthew, you know, you used a condom. You know, you can, you can only do so much as a parent. Honestly, at least she knows. There's some parents out here that will literally install a freaking camera in the room. But at least she knows. She's like, all right, there's only so much you can do. The kids are going to make their own decisions. And if they want to be irresponsible, they could be irresponsible. But if they want to be responsible, they could be irresponsible. Or they could just die. Oh, God, that that's not where I wanted to go with that. I wanted to get my noodle wet. <laughs> It's hard to get the noodle wet when there's a piece of plastic covering the noodle. Huh? 
I'm honestly flabbergasted because I can't believe he said that with her mom literally sitting right there. And she's laughing at it and her mom is literally pooping her pants right now. And told me she was pregnant. His reaction was just like, oh. I don't know. I didn't know how to react to it, so I just reacted normal. That's not reacting normal. I hate to break it to you. No one's going to react. Oh. I feel bad for the kid, though, because his intentions with the response, they were in a good place, and you can't even say they weren't, because he could have overreacted or just left her right there, but instead, he just tried to keep it as cool and calm and collected as possible to not freak her out any more than she probably was freaking out. So you know what, Matthew? You could get a high five for that one, all right? My daughter's older. If she told me that, I would do the same thing, and I'm not going to let her get pregnant. Like, I'm not going to do let my daughter have a boy in her room like my mom did. When my daughter is our age, she will not be having boys staying over at the house. Just not going to happen. See, at least she's learning from her mistakes and she's setting guidelines for her daughter that doesn't even exist yet. Well, I guess it exists, but it's not in the world yet. She knows, like, you know, what I did probably wasn't smart and gotta set precautions for the next generation so we don't uh, end up on TLC twice, you know? Maybe even spin off on Dr. Phil, you know, never really know. Oprah could make a comeback for me. Maybe they're a little bit more responsible than I had thought. Maybe responsible isn't the word. Oh, mature. Maybe they are a little bit more mature than I had thought they were because they could have kept it from their parents and tried to handle the situation by themselves. And then it probably wouldn't have been a good situation not that being pregnant at 16 is a good situation but i think that they did what they had to do and they both are going to be there for each other i a son he can have girls over whenever he wanted no <laughs> that would not happen either matthew you were so close to having it right there and then you said that like why man you had me there in the first half matthew but you just didn't have me there in the second so close but yet so far I take a little responsibility in Haley getting pregnant. It happened underneath my roof. The mom sob story. I can't do it. Can't do it. He stayed in my third bedroom. Completely greased with this picture, too. Like, thank God this man got a haircut. That's all I can think of. Tried to sneak in each other's rooms, and I'd bust them. But kids will be kids. Oh, my God. This is not, this is not a picture I would share anywhere or take. Like, the whole touching tongue thing, never understood it. Don't, don't really like it. But, yeah, I do have guilt. Mothers always have guilt. She's got guilt! Uh, God, uh, now I feel bad. Like, this just took a turn, because I feel extremely bad. The mom shouldn't feel guilt for something that she clearly told her daughter to take the proper precautions for but i do genuinely feel bad for the mom like the mom will probably end up taking care of the baby a lot not saying that Haley and matthew aren't gonna be there but you know they're kids still there they're gonna try to still be kids once their daughter comes into the world and i just feel bad because this mom knows that she's gonna end up taking a lot of the responsibility for this child so that's pretty much it for the extent of them explaining like them and their relationship and the, the whole pregnancy thing everything else is just them talking about waiting for matthew's sister who ends up never showing up anyway so that sucks teen pregnancy never a good thing but like i said in the last video it's never fun to experience but it's always good to laugh at or something i said something like that i don't freaking know but yeah if this video does really well maybe i'll go and uh you know find Haley and matthew on instagram and all that stuff maybe they have a little youtube channel a little family vlog channel you know yeah if this video does well i'll go out and look for them you know search the web and uh find them Anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And subscribe if you're new. Like I said in my previous video, I did lose like 30 subscribers. But just from my last upload, I gained like 10 subscribers of those 30 subscribers back. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is progress in the right direction. So keep in mind when you're working towards your goals, any progress in the right direction is good progress. But yeah, like I said before, thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you so much for taking the time of your day to watch my content it means the world to me and i'll see you guys in my next one adios muchachos